problem and our previous focus and target. Not just now, but for the last 15 years. Yeah. And we've been talking about we have 1.25 million people. In fact, we only have 1.185 million people, according to December 1st figure. And now, the membership promotion extension committee chair, Alan Jagger, has our director of the year. He had the biggest head in the committee of the Rotary International. He cannot do this alone. You need to support him. I'm glad to see Finally, our DI did increase only the last three months for 700 some members. I was very happy for you, but believe it or not, just two days ago, a day before I come here, they discussed the new membership plan with me, with the finance people. And they told me, Although in December figure RIPI is up, but in February figure RIPI membership is down. <laughs> so I told them, please make sure I want to know the right number of RIPI. Because uh, I don't want Alan Jack to lose the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, President Ron just asked me and asked President Nominee to agree to renew his term for three more years. And uh, when we see the first 700 something, I say, doing good, okay. Especially in Shanghai, by example, here. And yes, from <coughs> August last year until now, the total increase of membership around the world is about 12,000. But, 8,000 increase from Asia, 4,500 from Taiwan. <coughs> and I did check with the finance department that did they pay? They said, yes, all, all these 4,500 close to 5,000 have an old pay, they, they should. And but they are the one question about our <coughs> But I said, no, I trust the figure shouldn't be up and down. <coughs> In the future, I, I'm sure um, Director Mike, he knows, that I can push him for this one single figure for six months, finally come out the same, and now. So, of course, still need time to make sure this figure is accurate. <coughs> during the past years, nobody knows exactly what's the figure to look up. Some say, well, end of July, uh, June 30, some say end of uh, December, some say March, some say October, because uh, you need time uh, to receive the registration fee or member fee, etc. But I think it doesn't matter. Let's use the same figure. And second, most of the time people are talking about membership, they don't know, percentage increase. And that's wrong. Percentage of what? <laughs> if you say you're going to increase three percent, okay, how many? Nobody knows the answer. So that one also in the board, I push all the director. Tell me the figures. Even one or even ten from each club, <coughs> from each district, or from each zone then we know what's our target, and we know how to do it. So I think the board can accept that suggestion. So now, uh, they will come up with the number of the zone going to increase. So nobody can uh, fool around on this one, and based on that, uh, we want to see that, how members should go. Otherwise, it's not fair. The reason I pay a lot of attention to this because 1.3 million target to finish by 2015 did not set up by me. 
set up two years ago for. And almost two years it's gone. Membership from 1.23 down to 1.2. And you keep saying we shall reach 1.3. That's why staff asked me, say, would you want to revise? I say, I'm famous in find solution, not excuse. <laughs> Since this target decided, this decision made it by our board, we shall all look after to work. Even I come down to 1.2, uh, 1.28. In case we have 1.27, it doesn't mean anything. Still, we're missing about 1.3. So that's why I did not change. I said, let's do it 1.3. But let people know the figure step by step, how much we increase. That's why I assume we <coughs> will try to push until the end of 2014 by 50,000 first to make sure not go down and go back. This year we make it, including the promotion of spouses, partners, or second generation to join, we have a good chance to go. In fact, in tomorrow's speech, I would to you. we've been talking about the one dream one. If that that easy, we've been talking about 10 years or more than eight. We shall have 10 million to travel already, but we're still in 1.2 million. Because that didn't work. Why? Why would can even invite one to join? Yes, we invite 200,000 each year, and we lose 200,000. Okay. But we shall stop that. So the spouses of partner join is good. So even you want to withdraw from Rotary, your sponsors stay if they enjoy it. And so we are doing this and we want to lead by example and we are very successful in Taiwan and in India, in some countries. When they join the Rotary and when the council legislation of club agree about this, but their membership is not just increased, almost double. One of the club which I charter because of uh, men, uh, women, you know, at me to Rotary, and my own club did not want the female to join <coughs> that time, 1989. You know, so I charter an old ladies club. Within three months, I got 92 members. Why? Because of my club only 93 members. I don't want to pick them. <laughs> <laughs> and 20 some are waiting during the time. Of course, now, coming now, they split, they have uh, about three clubs now. But one of these clubs, I keep challenging the oldest one. Why you don't have male members in your club? They know the rule. They cannot have just all male or female. They say, well, I'm sorry. Because we cannot find qualified men to join us. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, they have a different way of thinking too. Just like why we cannot accept the female or women to our club. But finally, one of the very strong presidents come out and they're able to influence their, their board to pass all the, this, uh, 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 all, all this sponsored children. Well, their membership almost doubled. Now they have about 300 people in their club. And they used to be their, their partner or their spouse, although they did not join the Rotary as a member, but they were the golf team, they were the, you know, 
there were the, uh, some other you know, wine testing or, or bowling or something together. They know each other. But they want to join. Why not? They become a very good club. So this is a wonderful ways we can do and uh, to help in a very short time to increase our income. And uh, of course, here in England, you have your own culture, you have your, your own <coughs> tradition, but I think around the world the same thing. You have your tradition, it's about time to try something new. And when you break through, people will follow. And also, it's really true story. When I and my wife, you know, after 37 years, finally, she joined the Rotary this year. We can leave I have been there. And I find out she knows many things better than I do. <laughs> when we were in, you know, in Malaysia, you know, one time when I put my, after I make my speech, to ask for the spouses to join Rotary. And, you know, Malaysia is many um, religion, one of the strong religions in Muslim. So, after meeting, when you can come to the and then, Mr. President, we are good friends. I want to support you. I like you, I think, about spouse joining. But, you know, as our country is Muslim, I can have four wives. I was put them in different clubs. She found a rant. Well, but that, those are some some true story, and you never thought about it, but you have had it. So, as you agree. Membership is our most important. Let's work together. I think we have to go. You can even invite your own spouse as a partner join. Don't tell me you can bring other people to join. Because all you need is to ask. All you need is to lead by you. And you are all the leader of this area in our community. You start it from your own, people will follow, and they will invite their friend and children have a chance to reach out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for allowing us to come in. It might be people they are going to actually increase membership within the district. And, you know, let's have some. Yeah. Ideas and then spark off and, and share with others. Uh, Gary, uh, one of the big things in District 1180 during the coming year will be making use of the enactment from COL uh, 2013 where ro individual Rotary clubs are empowered to open a satellite club. And uh, we intend to open around 20 satellite clubs in the coming 12 months, which will bring in hopefully about 200 uh, new Rotarians and they will form their own clubs with their own type of doing things so long as it's within the, the uh, standard club constitution and bylaws they can do their own type of meeting according to that, how they want to do it and I feel that's going to be a big um, a, a big driver for 1180. Thank you. I agree. And the two select clubs, now even two in Shanghai, they start. Because they can't register, but they start with satellite, don't, don't, don't need to that. I, I guarantee and I agree, you're going to have more than 200. Thank okay? you for this has been spread out. Take one from Yeah, well, I, I look after the marketing uh, and with my committee, but we, we were just talking then as you came in, the idea of where there's a cluster of clubs in a town, 
where there may be ageing members, uh, how are they going to attract younger members? Possibly by sharing uh, a satellite meeting, each club feeding into the satellite meeting so that it becomes big enough to become a club of its own. Because we've got to stop this ownership of members. Each club saying, oh no, they're mine, because we could lose them. So by getting them in a small group together <coughs> and hopefully growing, because the younger people attract more younger people, it will bring the age profile down and, and increase membership. That's, but we've got to look at how we market it, how we're going to market this to the population, how we're going to get the message out there. Good idea. I think you point out the right point. My program next year, Rotary Day, it's a right opportunity for you to have a rotary day for all these club people to meet together for fun and to know each other and to share ideas. We're glad you're and making it not February as well because we can have it any time of the year. Can't that's we? right. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> we we believe passionately that you're working with marketing and PR to be the key to opening membership opportunities. I want to bring in actually uh, Noel over there because. Uh, we believe in using the pilot schemes that we've got available to give the customer what the customer wants, mm -hmm. no? because that's essential. Um, Noel, do you want to just quickly tell us a bit about the corporate yeah, schemes yeah. you've got in your district, please? So, my colleague was sat just down here. <coughs> we decided about 18 months ago to try and get Rotary back into the business community because many of us are retired. So we came up with this scheme of corporate social responsibility which uh, companies are, are, are obliged to do and cut a long story short we, we've gone back into the business community to facilitate managers from companies working on corporate social responsibility projects we've just completed this last week our first one I've been working with 12 13 managers from the local hospital uh, young people 20s and 30s uh, to, to work at a local nature reserve where they were building some equipment. Um, we facilitated that. It's taken them from November to now to complete the project. Uh, we've steered them through it and uh, we've made some great contacts with the management because there's 14,000 people work at our hospitals. So we've made some great contacts with the hospitals, um, with the management team and a group of young managers who have done this project, who have had a wonderful time doing it, although the weather, the weather seemed to get in the way. Um, and, and that's been really good. So we're now at the process of pulling that together. So we capture these people, we capture the learnings we've got from doing it the first time. Um, the hospital are, are, are already talking about us doing other projects with them. Um, so we're really hopeful that we'll both look at forming satellite clubs with the young people and pulling in membership from the management teams at the hospital. We've already got one, it's a small start, but a guy has joined my own club who's the environmental manager of the hospital. So we're really encouraged with our first project and we'll, we'll be rolling that out um, again, perhaps with the hospitals, but we'll be bringing it up at our uh, district assembly for other clubs to volunteer to take part with contacts they have where they are. So, you know, we're encouraged to be getting back into the business community and, and hopefully building membership that way as well. Thank you, Noel. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll leave you in peace. Oh, and I, think, I think we just need to clap him out, though, we know. Do we know how to do it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Thank you very much. Share, share. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs>